When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Well, one out of three beats none out of three, I guess, as the JV Cougars boys team lost in a close ball game 51 to 47. It looked like it was going to be a blowout at Anderson County High School Friday night as AC took off and looked like they were going to win this one in a landslide, but Coach Josh James got his boys to wake up and they made a game out of it and made the baby Mavericks earn their win and they did just that. Up next, the Lady Cougars lost on poor shooting from the field Friday night at Anderson County High School to the Lady Mavericks 33-28, to an ugly ball game. Jamie Minot only had nine, Chelsea Finkenbein had eight, Hannah Owens only mustered four. She had a lot of chances inside but couldn't finish and Megan Cottle only had three. Ryan Browning got one tee in the second half. I don't guess they liked the fact that he thought that that game was a bunch of crap, which is what he said to the referee to get the tee to finish off the Lady Cougars. Although they fought, they couldn't win this one. They now sport a one loss record of seven and eight, but more importantly, five and three in district play. In the boys game, I guess payback was what was on the Cougars' mind Friday night, although it didn't start out that way. The Cougars improved their one loss record of 6-11 and overall and 2-6 and in district play, with a come from behind 51-43 to win at Anderson County High School. End of the first quarter, the Mavericks were ahead though, 11-6. to At halftime, the Mavericks were up 23-18, to but in the third frame, the Cougars' defense woke up and put the Mavericks to sleep. We outscored the Mavericks 20 to 9 in that in that quarter, and in the fourth quarter the final came, and your game was 51 to 43. Cougars win. Leading the charge for the Cougars was Darren Gillenwater with a huge 19 points. Now that's what we're sure of, but the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of this is unofficial. Austin North, we believe he had eight, and we also believe Rustin Lettner chipped in six. Now the Cougars have a makeup date with the Red Devils of Halls at their place Monday. Now this is the first road district win for the Cougars. Let's hope they can pick up another at Halls Monday night. And don't forget you can listen in to Josh Parker on the call on the WLAF Sports Network at 1450WLAF.com. Up north, Jellico won Friday night at Sunbright 66-48 to improve to 9-11 overall and 4-1 in district play. You might say, well, 9-11, that's not a good record. Believe you me, folks, Jellico's played some tough competition. So Mike Reynolds is getting these guys ready. Now they will play at home against Oliver Springs Friday night and we will be up there for that one and we'll bring you back a full report. And then the girls also turn around and play the following Saturday at Williamsburg. So the girls have a game Friday night and then they play Saturday. Calvary Christian Academy, quality academics and biblical character. You can receive both. All the things you want in a school for your child. Grade levels K through 12, phonetic based reading, individualized curriculum, diagnostic testing, character building, and biblical principles. For more information, contact Calvary Christian Academy, 2139 Jacks Pro Park, P.O. Box 1402, La Follette, Tennessee. Phone 423-562-7267. 423-562-7267. The Campbell County Youth Basketball League started back up this past Saturday with heavy hearts. They played without Greg Brackett, patrolling the sidelines for the Eagle Tire team. Now we have the full story on the news today, and if you missed that story, you can catch it on 1450WLEF.com as they always put the news on their front page. They'll have it on there somewhere. You just go log on to 1450WLEF.com and you can find it. Camel County High School boys soccer practice will begin February the 10th after school up in front of the Camel County High School. According to the head coach, Shane Wolfenbarger, he is also the girls coach, if you recall, and he done an excellent job with the new team, new program, and kept the girls sharp, and they played some tough competition. They won a couple, and they competed and represented Camel County High School very well, I think. Now, we expect no less from the boys' team, which should be very competitive with the likes of Gustavo Rosas, among others, on the team. I think Gustavo was born with a soccer ball in his hand. 
He's, he's a good soccer player. Nick Bailey and Corey Phillips played in the Tennessee-Kentucky Border Bowl 2014 this past Saturday. We'll have some video and interviews for you as soon as we can get them in here. We were expecting these videos Saturday, but they didn't get in here in time, so we'll show you the results, hopefully, on the next sports report. And don't forget, Jacks Pro Middle School will play at home Monday afternoon against Horace Maynard. The JV will travel to Elk Valley Tuesday, uh, both boys and girls teams. And then the Owls, after sweeping the Eagles, they won't play again until Thursday when they will play host to Clinton. Alrighty, that's a real quick look at today's local sports. I thank you for being with us. We ask you to go see our sponsors, Vital Care Med Trans and Cavalry Christian Center. And stay tuned, there's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF.